the nervous energy in the air in Paris had nothing to do with the summer that was coming up. Taylor Swift, the queen of pop music and new ideas, was getting ready for the European part of her era's tour. The historic Stade de France was packed with people. But backstage, where things were normally crazy, there was a different kind of excitement building up. Travis Kelsey, the NFL star and Taylor's supporting boyfriend, jumped on the balls of his feet with a big smile on his face. While he would have been there to cheer her on before the show, he wasn't there that morning. This visit was a secret mission that Taylor's closest family and friends helped plan for weeks. All right, guys, Travis said in a low voice that was hard to hear over the bass from the stage. Showtime? An all-around nod from Taylor's security team and a sly grin on their faces was all Travis needed to be sure. Once his baseball cap was straight, he took a deep breath and followed them out of the busy backstage area. Soon after, they came out into a private patio where the cobblestone path was lit up by the sun. And there, shining under a clean white sheet, was something that would take your breath away. It wasn't just any car, it was a one-of-a-kind, vintage beauty. The smooth curves and chrome finish made it look like it came from a different time. A beautiful note written in a handwriting that you know was hidden under the window wiper. Travis whipped off the sheet with the kind of flair that's usually only seen after a game-winning touchdown. The rebuilt 1965 Mustang Shelby GT350 sparkled in a beautiful shade of teal, which Taylor had once said was her favorite color. The small group let out gasps, and Travis let out a choked sob. That was it. He put the note away while his heart was beating fast and furiously against his ribs. He thought of Taylor's face and how it would shine like the sun rising after a long night. He was excited to see it. Just then, the steady click of heels on the cobblestones could be heard. Taylor turned the corner with a confused look on her face. She had her hair in a messy bun and wore an easy, baggy sweater over her tour outfit. As soon as she saw the car, it turned into pure amazement. She loved sunflowers, so Travis rushed forward with a bunch of them in his hand. Hey, he said, his voice full of rage. Just a little something to fuel your European adventures. Taylor took a deep breath. She ran her shaking hand over the Mustang's smooth hood. She started to cry. She realized the note was from Travis and was a sonnet about following your goals and taking over stadiums. The last line said, here's to taking over Europe, one song and one beautiful car at a time. With love, T, she laughed with a bit of disbelief in her chest. Travis, she whispered, and then she hugged him so hard it spoke volumes. This is crazy. Completely crazy. But great. Travis smiled, and sunflowers touched her cheek. Like you, Tay. Let's go for a ride in this beauty now. Paris is waiting. A music star and her biggest fan drove a teal Mustang as the sun went down over Paris, sending a warm glow over the city. The car sped off, leaving a trail of exhaust fumes and pure, unadulterated joy behind it. Taylor knew that the era's tour would be one she would never forget as the wind blew through her hair and the open road stretched out in front of her. The air in Paris was tense and exciting at the same time. The shop was tucked away on a cobblestone street and covered in ivy. Taylor Swift held a well-worn copy of Baudelaire's Les Fleurs du Mal. As the City of Lights was about to become the start of her era's tour, she felt the weight of expectation from both the outside world and herself. The silence was broken when the bell above the shop door rang. A tall person wearing a black peacoat and a hat with a wide top walked in. Taylor barely noticed the customer because she was thinking about the tour that was coming up. A voice she knew said, Hello, madam, sending chills down her spine. Taylor turned her head around, her green eyes getting bigger in shock. Travis, she gasped, and the book fell out of her hands. Travis Kelsey, her NFL star boyfriend, stood in front of her with an embarrassed grin on his face. He flew in from Kansas City without telling anyone because he wanted to surprise Taylor before the tour got crazy. What are you doing here? Taylor took a breath, and her voice got rough from feeling. Travis laughed, and his warm brown eyes sparkled. Well, someone thought you could use a little pre-tour pick-me-up. His finger went outside, and Taylor's jaw dropped. Across the street, Parked cars were drenched in the golden light of the setting sun. The sight took her breath away. 
There was a beautiful silver Bugatti Chiron per sport in the sky over Paris. This car is worth an amazing $50 million. Travis, you. Taylor couldn't say a word. Travis gave her a hug, and the smell of his perfume made her feel grounded. Consider it a little good luck charm for your tour, he said. France is known for its romance, and you deserve a car that reflects that. She pulled away as tears filled her eyes. Wow, Travis, that's amazing. But it's just, so much. Travis put his hand on hers and looked at her straight ahead. Tay, you deserve it. You've put everything you have into this show. This is a small gift to show how much I admire the amazing woman you are. Later that night, as they drove through the streets of Paris under the stars, Taylor knew this wasn't just about the car. It was about how Travis would always be there for her, how much he believed in her, and how strong their bond was. Taylor knew the era's tour would be a huge success because he was with her and the rumble of the Bugatti's engine was a metaphor for how determined she was. At dusk, the Seine sparkled in Paris, giving the cobblestone streets an almost magical glow. Taylor Swift stood by the wrought iron gates of a grand chateau, wrapped in a silk scarf to keep warm in the sudden cold. There was a hint of worry in her normally bright blue eyes. Tonight was a special night because her team set up a secret tour for her to get ideas before the start of her much-anticipated era's tour in France. As she got closer to the big oak doors, she got a sly grin on her face. With a fun smile on her face, she whispered to her group, OK, guys. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. When the doors finally opened, they showed a scene that looked like it came from a fairy tale. Festooned lights sparkled in the well-kept gardens, making dancing shadows on the hedges that had been cut very closely. A white tent in the middle sparkled, and classical music could be heard coming from it. What stood in the middle of the sign, though, took Taylor's breath away. A shiny silver Bugatti Chiron stood proudly on a velvet stage. Its curves caught the light like a chrome teardrop. On the window was a card with a simple message, for the Queen of Eras. A big red bow was on the hood of the car. Thanks, Travis, Taylor's mouth dropped open. Travis Kelsey, her NFL star boyfriend, was known for making big moves, but this? This was a whole new level. Fifty million dollar worth of something else. Her face lit up with a slow smile, and she felt warm inside. Travis was always the romantic type, and he knew she loved old cars and big gifts. This was more than just a car, it was a sign of his unfailing support and a celebration of her hopes and dreams. Just then, the door to the marquee rustled, and Travis walked out with a sheepish grin on his face. He was dressed to the nines, which was very different from how he usually plays football. Taylor jumped into his arms and buried her face in his big chest. Travis, she whispered, her voice heavy with feeling, this is. Insane, he asked with a laugh, then stepped back to cup her face. Perhaps a little. But you deserve all the crazy things that happened to you. Tay, you're about to start a famous tour. This is a small gift to help you look good on your way. Taylor's eyes got teary. That's great, Travis. Perfect in every way. She wrapped her arms around him again, and the warmth of their silent thanks flowed between them. Later that night, they laughed, sipped champagne under the Parisian sky, and made promises as they explored the chateau's secret rooms. The car, which was a sign of Travis's love, became the setting for their own private fairy tale and a sparkling sign of Taylor's amazing journey ahead. It was almost time for the era's tour to start. With Travis by her side, every stop would be an unforgettable journey.